Why did I record this clip? There's an old tale in Skyrim that foxes will lead you to treasure. It's been discussed in the community if this is actually true or not. And in 2021, they just come out and said, yeah, they do lead you to treasure. And what this has to do with the devlog is that I've always been obsessed with AI in video games. Sometimes it's really fun to just watch something do something. And if you go back a little bit in time, you'll see that I made a game called Treasure and Bones. And essentially, it's a game that plays itself. But let's look back at something even before that. Something even before Fairly existed. Hello and welcome to my newest game. This is a game where you take care of a slime. Okay, I'm gonna cut myself off because it's just a little bit embarrassing. So back in 2018, I made a game that's all about watching a jelly. And back then, it wasn't even called a jelly. It was called the slime. And back in 2018, I had absolutely no idea that I would be doing game development in 2022. The game idea is simple. A jelly lives out its life and you help it in small ways like planting seeds and shaking trees for it. You can also sell items and buy new things in the store. The game is actually extremely fun and I can't help but want to play it sometimes. So I thought, what would this game look like if I made it today? I started by drawing a concept for what the game might look like. I wanted to make the game look very blocky, but the grass tiles were just not, they were not having a good time with me. We were, we were kind of arguing back and forth a little bit. Eventually I drew ones that I like, and then I started to get to work on a tree. Trees are normally my arch nemesis, but I actually like the look of this one. I feel so accomplished. I just said in a video that I drew a tree and I didn't absolutely hate my life. That's progress. After that, my early concept was finished. Next, I added some small decorations and drew a little jelly. You might be wondering what inspired the art style for this game, and no, it's not Minecraft. Let me show you exactly what it is. Recently, I've started making things out of polymer clay to help with my anxiety, and one day I decided to make a bunch of cube-shaped jellies. I think they're extremely adorable, and I thought that it'd be really cute if I had a game with that kind of art style where everything is blocky. After that, I went into hardcore drawing things and making it look good mode, which required me not recording it because I forgot. I forgot, I'm sorry. I added a bunch of stuff like background tiles, a sky, clouds, some UI. I even drew up a logo. Next, I decided that the player could put some items in their inventory, so I got to drawing that. I'll explain what I want the gameplay to be like in a minute. I wanted to show everyone that the jellies will be very expressive, so I drew a little speech bubble with a question mark inside of it. Overall, I think this concept is really awesome. I had a ton of fun making it. And so I thought to myself, I'm gonna post this on Twitter and see how well it does. It got over 400 freaking likes. Are you kidding me? If I were to go back in time and tell myself in 2018 that I would be doing something that I love as a job and I would be getting thousands of people watching my videos and subscribing to me, I would never believe that. So thank you guys very much. Just when you thought the polymer clay is over, it makes a comeback. Okay, I'm gonna make a cube jelly in the background while I explain a few things about the game. I wanna make a few devlogs making the base mechanics for the game. And after that, all of the devlogs will be content updates based on things you guys want to be added in the game. I want the game to be free, and I want all of the devlogs to coincide with updates for the game. So I'll make a devlog, and then you'll get to play the things that I made in that devlog. Now, the game itself will be entirely random. Your jelly will have random stats like luck, intelligence, survivability, and things like that. I want this to be the type of game where you're constantly making new saves, trying to get a different jelly or a different biome. I think it'll be really awesome. I want everything in the game to be random. So maybe your first time playing, you get an awful spawn, you get a terrible jelly in a terrible location, and you have terrible items, and you basically just lose immediately. Or maybe you get a jelly that's a little bit stupid, but it has a very high luck stat, so it's constantly messing things up, but you're also constantly getting great items. I know I explained that in a horrible way, but you'll just have to see it as it gets made and if you want to try the original slime game from 2018 there's a link in the description to actually try that let me warn you it's, it's pretty bad it's not that great but you'll get kind of an idea for the feel of the game well the clay jelly is finished so i guess i have to start making the game now don't i bada bing bam boom i open up unity i make a new project and i'm just i'm drawing tiles all over the place I made a jelly, I clicked the play button, the jelly fell down with funny physics game dev moment. After that I made an apple that you can pick up and move around and this was actually a lot harder than I thought it would be because things would just fly through the map and it was a little bit, it was a little bit buggy. 
So I did more work on the grabbable items, and of course, right when I start recording, it just stops working. It just, it just flies away. Okay, I fixed some errors, and now you can't actually throw the items through the ground anymore. They just pop back up at the surface. Now I have a working camera just like the original game. I'm getting so excited that I'm remaking this game. I've been wanting to do this for years. Just like in the original game, if you press space, it'll focus on your jelly, but this time, it actually will stay tracked with your jelly. Next, I added randomly spawned and placed background objects. This is a really small detail but it'll be really nice in making sure everybody's save file is a little different even if you have the same biome now guess what the jelly's actually freaking moving well he's it's kind of not really moving great but, but he's moving okay now he's moving around in a much more enjoyable way also you see that tree that was kind of spawned in the wall just ignore that one you didn't see that one you can't see that one right there. You can't see that. I'm already seeing glimpses of what this game will be like, and I'm really enjoying it so far. What if I told you next I added in crops that actually grow? Would you believe me? Or would you think I was a madman? Well, if you believe me, you were correct because I added in crops that can actually grow. Pokemon Legends Arceus came out, and of course, I got it day one, and also I wouldn't pass up the opportunity to show you the epic shiny Pokemon that I've caught so far. Because me and my girlfriend got it on day one, we also got this little stationary set. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, back to the devlog. Next, I took some much needed time to tidy up the background. I actually added the sky, and I also wanted to do a parallax effect for the sky and for the background, and I was having some trouble figuring out how to do the parallax for background objects. I could do it really easily for the sky, but for the background objects, the position was all whack and stupid. And it was, it was just a struggle, but I eventually figured it out. Now the game is looking much nicer, especially when you move the camera around. That little bit of parallax is really cool. Not only that, but when a crop is fully grown, you can actually harvest it. Doesn't look great, but it's working. Next, I added a different thing that can grow, and it's an apple tree. And what's different about the apple tree is that it actually spawns objects on the tree when it's fully grown. But apparently, according to this clip, it actually spawns them up and to the left in the, a random location. So that that's cool. I, I don't need to fix that. That's working as intended. Okay, I recorded this clip, and I actually have no idea why I recorded this clip. It's just me just moving moving the apples around. I don't know why I recorded that. Now the apples actually grow on the tree properly, and you can also shake the tree to have the apples fall. And also, the tree has a certain amount of harvest that it can have before it withers away. The jelly can now also get hungry and actually search for food and eat it to refill its hunger. None of that is being shown to the player right now, but that'll be something for a future devlog. All right, for fun, I decided to draw a few more things that can grow. The first thing is super crazy, and it's a green apple instead of a red apple. I know, I'm, it's pretty groundbreaking. Next was something I had a little bit of trouble with because, you know, I didn't want it to look a, a bit sus, but I was gonna draw some cherries. First, I drew them really tiny. That didn't look good. I tried to like put them in front of each other or something like that, and that didn't look good either. And this is what I ended up settling with. Next, I wanted to make corn. I want to make my own version of corn. It's not yours. It's my version. It's my cooler version. It's better. My cooler version of corn was actually a lot harder to draw than I thought it would be because I apparently have no idea what corn looks like. I think we're going to have to add corn to the list of things that I'm not good at drawing. All right, I'm calling that done. That's, that's my corn. Okay, now we have to actually make the corn item. I thought it'd be funny if the corn item was like you literally just ripped the top of the corn plant off and just held it. All right, here's all the new things. I'm not convinced they look exactly great, but it's a good start. I'm gonna call that the end of the devlog. Is that, is that a good time to end the devlog? I wanna thank you all for subscribing and for liking this video because I know you already did that. Of course you already did that. Also stick around because I have a disclaimer for you people in the comments. Now, before you comment fairly, it is very unprofessional to work on two projects at once. You have to understand that I am working on Jelly World and I'm also a devlog YouTuber. I cannot make devlogs for Jelly World forever or else I'll be spoiling the story and showing all of the content that's in the game. So I decided that I'd have a small side project that's easy to make devlogs for so that I can provide content for you guys while I can also work on Jelly World on the side. Okay, there's my explanation. Sorry, I had to get that out of the way. Thank you for watching this video, the patron outro. Thank you so much to my patrons for being my patrons and giving me the monies. If you would like to support the channel and see all of my devlogs early and get a bunch of other cool things, check out the Patreon link in the description down below. Thank you.